Hello, it's Geneva coming in here. I am just coming in to post a, um, or to speak the words from the blog that I do videos for. The blog is called A Daughter of Messiah One. Blogspot.com. Um, it looks like uh, Sister Carla just posted this yesterday, and the title that the Lord gave her for this word from Him is called my path is light. Uh, so I'm just going to do what I usually do and just read you know, verbatim from the website. And I'll leave a link to the, uh, the address, the blog address, down in the description box. Alright. Daughter, write these words. For far too long I have spoken to my children and they have not yielded to my voice. They struggle because of lack of faith. I can remove all obstacles in their path, but because of the lack of faith, they struggle needlessly. I can take every situation and change their circumstances with one word. This is a powerful word, it really is. <coughs> in every situation, there's a choice that one must make. They choose to walk according to their own will, or they choose to walk in my will. My ways are much higher than your ways. My path is light to show you where to walk. Your path is dark, and you easily stumble from pride and the many attacks from the enemy. What looks like light is not always light. You must walk with the eyes of my spirit. This is my light, light that no darkness can cover. Yield to my spirit and you will not stumble. I have chosen your path even before you were placed in the womb. My divine fingerprint rests upon you. Yield to me and my divine covering. I'm sorry, yield to me and my divine covering will rest upon you. And then she writes, Thank you, Yeshua, Jesus, for this word. I love you. Um, wow. It's just, it's such an amazing post. Um, they all are, but this one really speaks mountains to me. Um, and I'm sure to a lot of you. It's just, it's a lack of faith. You know, um, I don't know if you guys can feel it, but I really can. Um, it just t times are getting darker, and I, and I kind of feel it. I'm feeling a little more in the spiritual realm. Um, so, so now is the time to really, really get our faith going. You know, I mean, we've always needed faith to grow in the Lord, but I think as these times get darker and darker. You know, I don't know. There, there may be a common time where our very lives depend on it, um, and it, it's just amazing, you know, that he's reminding us that, you know, he can change the whole entire situation and circumstances with one word. That's how powerful he is. It, it's, it's so beautiful, and it's such a great reminder. Um, Like it, it's just it's deep. This is really deep, um, and we need to be reminded because, like I said, it, the days are just going to grow darker and darker until some things happen pretty soon. And there's never been a time where we have needed so much faith. So we need to be make sure that we're staying in His Word. His Word is powerful more powerful than a two-edged sword. It's it's just, it's so powerful. I mean, lately when I read the Word, it's like, I mean, things have always, uh, you know, stuck out at me, different verses and stuff, but wow, it's just like getting more powerful and po more powerful. So it's just really important that we stay in the Word, that we exercise our faith muscles 
like never before. You know, like he's saying, if we feel like, you know, we're struggling with something, you know, I don't know, Facebooking too much, YouTubing too much, talking to myself, we just need to ask him to remove the, you know, to, to just get away all our, our, anything that's blocking our time with him, we need to spend as much time with him as possible. Uh, you know, reading the word, studying the word, praying, and just having faith, believing in his word. There are so, the Bible is just jam-packed with promises to bless us, to keep us, to protect us, to guide us. It's a, it's a, it's a, a map for life. There's nothing more important than the word. And like I said, we're, we're going to need, we're going to need all, all our faith to be in him. Not just, oh, uh, you know, when something happens, which I, I think is normal, but I'm just saying pretty soon it's, you know, our lives could depend on it. We need to just believe him, you know. We just have to, like, it's like a decision you have to make up in your mind. You have to make up your mind that, you know, he's God. There's no one like him. His, his promises are there for a reason. And we literally just have to believe it. It's almost too simple. But I know the enemy tries to do all kinds of things in our with us. Tries to put stupid thoughts or, you know, oh, you know, well, just, you know, like he could say stuff like, oh, he, he wouldn't do that for you. You've done too much wrong or, you know, you're past that point of, you know, being healed or this or that. Don't believe him. You know, he's the master of lies and he's very good at it. I mean, how many centuries has he had to be perfect in, in line, basically? So we just need to believe in his word, believe in his promises, believe for specific things, situations in our lives. We just need to give it to him and say, Lord, take care of us, and then just rest in him. <sighs> so powerful. All right. Um, now I'm going to read the verses that the Lord gave us. Uh, for this word from him, uh, Isaiah, or Isaiah, 55, 8 to 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my way, my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. That's for sure. Proverbs 3, 6. In all in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths I love that verse Proverbs 418 but the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day All right. Um, Psalm 1611 thou wilt shew me the path of life in thy presence is fullness of joy at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Uh, and then this is the commentary for the next verse I'm going to say. It's Psalm, the verse of Psalm 119, 105. I'll read the verse first. It starts with the word nun, N-U-N. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And then this is the commentary that I <coughs> found on it. Um, this begins a new portion of the psalm indicated by the Hebrew letter nun, N-U-N, equivalent to our N. The margin here is candle. The Hebrew word means a light, lamp, candle. The idea is that the word of God is like a torch or lamp on man in a dark night. It shows him the way. It prevents his stumbling over obstacles or failing down precipices or wandering off into paths which would lead into danger or would turn him away altogether from the path to life. I thought that was pretty cool. So. Alright, and then the next one is James 117. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning, meaning he does not change like the shifting shadows. Definitely, he 